Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to Friends Season 9, Episodes 5 and 6. So we're off to a strong start with this ninth season. We got Rachel dealing with having a kid, Ross and Rachel. Seems like things have cooled down between the two of them. And we have Phoebe looking for, for true love or a serious relationship or possibly going out with Paul Rudd. I am curious if we're going to see more episodes of Paul Rudd. It would be cool to see him in the show more. But because I know he is obviously a movie star too, I'm not sure if he's going to be like in these next two. I would love for him to be in like the whole rest of the season. He might be the serious boyfriend that Phoebe falls in love with. But who knows? We will see what happens. As always, if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction that is up on Patreon, that's also where you can watch future episodes of Friends. If you don't want to wait and you'd care to support the channel, let's just get right into it. Friends Season 9, Episodes 5 and 6. <laughs> Reservation for the night of my birthday. I have to do dinner Thursday night instead. Thursday? But that's Halloween. Halloween birthday? It's just spooky, that's all. This could be interesting. Mike coming to dinner? First birthday with a boyfriend and he has to work. Oh, bummer. I think it's a little too soon to show my true colors. <laughs> slow it down, slow it down. Stay home and watch Emma. Which one of us should go to dinner? Oh, Rachel! <laughs> really? Why? I was thinking maybe both of us could go. Oh, yay. <laughs> For Rachel. Does she want to go? Six of us in such a long time. We're all together right now. Chandler's not here. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> Don't show Chandler that clip. Don't show him. That's brutal. Okay, so we're going to get Halloween and Phoebe's birthday. This could be very, very interesting. I mean, we're going to see Halloween costumes, right? Or because they're going out to dinner, will they be a little bit more restrained? I say just get dressed up and go crazy. I do wonder if there was scheduling conflicts with Matthew Perry, because I do know that he had, you know, some movies that he did, um, if that's part of the reason why he's had to move his job. Hello, everyone. Oh, no, here he is. Okay. The reason you're here in Tulsa is that you fell asleep, you took the job without realizing what you were saying yes to. How did that get out? Don't believe everything you hear, Ken. But yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Chandler's so honest, dang. Started by uh, taking a look at last quarter's figures. Is that allowed or are they just disrespecting him? I smoked for years, then I quit. Right now, I can't remember why. Would you like one? I don't smoke anymore. Don't give in. Go ahead, it's fine. Oh, dang, dang, what is this, Mad Men? Holy. <laughs> so you all smoke then. <laughs> Jeez. Rude that I'm not smoking. Not true, if you don't want to smoke, Ken, please! <laughs> No, I can't, I can't. It's like Rachel's job, peer pressure to smoke. Isn't your wife back in New York? This is true. I've always liked you, Ken. <laughs> Dang, no, Chandler, you know, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, bad influence from your co-workers. Hey, who can treat it is? <laughs> I almost wore my threadbare robe that can't contain my breasts. You guys won't be late for my dinner. Chandler and I have not seen each other in over a week. We'll probably be the first ones there. <laughs> See you there. Happy humping. Thank you, Phoebe. Thank you. Oh, wow. Somebody smoked out here? In Oklahoma, smoking is legal in all common areas and offices with fewer than 15. How much has Chandler been smoking? You smoked. No, I just happen to know a lot of trivia about smoking in different states. As one does. In Hawaii, cigarettes are called Leilani Lukus. <laughs> You stink of cigarettes. Oh, do you think Monica's going to be able to smoke? Yes. That woman has the nose of a bloodhound. And the breasts of a Greek goddess. <laughs> Thieves? <laughs> she was distracted there for a second. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to go in? Something to cover the smell. No. It's over. Oven cleaner. What? Unscented. <laughs> Welcome home. I've missed you. He's regretting smoking now. Wanna join me in the bedroom? No thanks, I'm good. <laughs> you don't need a shower? All right, uh, the truth is, I soiled myself during some turbulence. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> she smells it. It's too late. It's over. It's over. <gasps> Did you smoke? Yes. I had I two for had work. One. Honey, I'm sorry. No, two. You... Two packs? A pack. Two pack, a, a carton. Oh my, two cartons. Three big fat cartons in two days. Oh my gosh. Uh, but it's over. I've made a decision. Uh, I'm not going to smoke anymore. Did you? 
That's predictable. Well, those are for you. <laughs> I'll see you when you get here. That was my mom. She's stuck in terrible traffic. Oh, dang. Third sign that I should not leave Emma. What are the other two? I'm not going. Oh, okay. My mom is going to be with her. She is? Yeah. What about Monica? You only hear Monica's side of that, okay? That little fatso was a terror. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead to the restaurant and I will wait for my mom and then I'll meet you there. What's gonna go wrong with Ross? World is your oyster. Paint the town red. You need to learn some new slang. <laughs> just go. What? Oh. You know what? You're not getting back in there. Did he lock the door? I was just going to say that I left my keys. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, are we in a pickle now? <laughs> Has Ross been watching like old movies or something? They're 40 minutes late. Oh, shoot. I ate nothing all day. What about me? I only had one lunch today. <laughs> Joey is like a hobbit. Are we expecting the rest of our party shortly? They are expected presently. <laughs> Their arrival is in the offing. <laughs> but we do have a table for two available. One needn't worry. They, they shan't be long. <laughs> we'll have some large parties waiting. One really does have a stick up one's ass, doesn't one? <laughs> And one doesn't want a tip, apparently. I've watched home movies of you eating ding-dongs without taking the tinfoil off. <laughs> Forbid you to smoke again. I've flown a long way to see my loving wife. Is she here, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I feel like I know the direction this is heading? Not really sure what to do now. Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Miss Phoebe's dinner. Put out that cigarette and go have sex. Fine. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's what I thought. No! And no kissing your neck. Good! I hate it when you do that! <laughs> and lots of kissing your neck. Okay, well, the super's not home, oh. but hey, you know what? Break the door down. You have to do something. Knock that door down. I would, but I bruise like a peach. <laughs> Wait, did I leave the stove on? You haven't cooked since 1996. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Listen, a, a pigeon. No, no, an eagle flew in. <laughs> a reverse stork. Caught fire. <laughs> Only if... The baby, seeing this, jumps across the apartment. <laughs> the eagle, however, misconstrues this as an act of aggression. <laughs> baby and bird, still ablaze, are locked in a death grip. Swirl. <laughs> Why are you going to be sorry if that's true? Hello. Hi. It's been an hour. Another table leaves, but there's still some food left on their plates. <laughs> the waiter's like, that was for me. That was for me. No, you can't go. If they ask me to move, I'll cave. If you ask me to stay, I'll pee. <laughs> That's worse. Trust me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good evening, miss. <laughs> I'm a little busy right now. Look at your ceiling. Miss. <laughs> Finally, you guys made it. Caves, who the hell? No. <laughs> Grab a quick bite. I can't make love to you while we're fighting this way. When you wanted to have sex right after my uncle's funeral. That was a celebration of life. Is this really the way you want our baby to be conceived? Yeah, we shouldn't do it like this. Oh, I, I misinterpreted exactly how they felt. I thought they were just. Uh... I'm not going to smoke again. And if I do, I promise I will hide it so much better from you. <laughs> do you want to? Yeah, let's celebrate life. <laughs> Thank God you're okay. No eagle. Great, so let's get going. <laughs> She's like, I made a promise. I made a promise. One time, I was about to leave Ross to go to the beauty parlor. He took off all his clothes, tucked his willy between his legs. <laughs> Mommy, I'm a girl. Take me with you. <laughs> no, 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 no. He did not do that. <laughs> Somehow, over time, it got easier to be apart from you. <laughs> you are welcome. I'm still so mad at you for smoking. Oh. I just said that because I was ovulating and then you said you wouldn't have sex with me if we were fighting. Oh. You tricked me to get me into bed? That's right. I got mine. <laughs> you gotta respect that, right Chandler? I feel so you. <laughs> Wanna just order? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Golden chanterelles and the Bordelaise sauce, unless any of that stuff. It does not. That's just for me. 
Which of the pastas would you recommend? Oh, well, they're both exquisite. Both it is. Thank you. <laughs> Bring us everything back there. Everything as soon as it's ready, appetizers, entrees, we don't care. We hey, wait. Hi, hi. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. We got locked out of the apartment. That's a great story. Can I eat it? <laughs> she could leave the baby. Judy over there at the bar with Emma. Oh. She spit up, Judy. She spit up. Judy, look alive, Judy. <laughs> You have one job. Oh. Woo, everything looks delicious. Or do you have 30 seconds to order right now? What should I have? <laughs> Poor Joey. You know what you mean, this looks incredible. Ross bruises like a peach, he bruises like a peach. And the salmon. And remember, whatever comes up first. Happy is... birthday. Oh. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, almost, almost. Wow, it's a little tight, isn't it? Why'd you get a bigger table? <laughs> <laughs> Don't ask. Don't ask. You had a big table, but they made you move. <laughs> Shut up, Monica. <laughs> yeah, you know the restaurant industry. Smoked duck. Monica will have the manipulative shrew. <laughs> Where are you going? He said she wanted the shrew. <laughs> it's a rough birthday. Did you guys ever hear the story about when Ross's mom went to the beauty salon? <laughs> it's okay. I already told the waiter what they want. Why would you do that? Chandler, control your woman. <laughs> Start the celebration and make a toast. She dropped your sock. Aw. What? Mom's here? I wanted to have lunch with her today. She told me she was out of town. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Not notice that the baby sock is on the ground. Good toast. I feel so bad for Phoebe. Judy, pick up the sock! Pick up the sock! <laughs> pick up the sock! <laughs> oh, that was poor Phoebe's breaking point. My little outburst, blunt, the hideousness that is this evening. Dang. You didn't even have the courtesy to call. Too late now. <laughs> Who is calling? She tricked me into having sex with her. So? <laughs> What's the matter with me? Why am I such a girl? <laughs> Rachel, just shake your head. Oh my gosh, Chandler. We are ready to start your birthday celebration. Okay, I'm gonna take off. <laughs> She's going over to Mike's? You know, Mike got off work early. Wait. Ditches her friends to be with her boyfriend. You know what? I am. <laughs> I kind of understand. Phoebe's gone. Can we please take Emma home? That's a good idea. Our babysitter just pounded another Chardonnay. <laughs> she has been having a few glasses, right? This is just us. <laughs> so I'm, I'm probably still ovulating. Do you... All right, Joey's going to eat all the food. You going to go do it now? The egg descends into the fallopian tube. Oh, 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 oh. Get out of here. <laughs> the rest of your party is returning. All alone. All right, this is the best day ever for Joey. Dinner for six for one. You boys are about to see something really special. <laughs> but you gotta pay for all that, Joey. Dang, it must be expensive. How is everything, sir? Excellent. I hope you've got some room left. Happy... <laughs> yes, I am Phoebe. Happy birthday, dear. Joey, Joey. <laughs> this is the best birthday ever. <laughs> we see at least one person had a good time that night, right? Who's calling? Hello. Don't tell me that's from smoking. Your You're screaming. You bet your ass I am. <laughs> the kitchen, twice as big as Alessandro's. Well, that's really cool. Not just health department clean, Monica clean. <laughs> that's impressive. Jeffrey, he's the maitre d'. Funniest guy I have ever met. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> oh, poor Chandler, right? Oof. I feel like that's more, uh, more threatening to Chandler than uh, Monica's soulmate that she met that one episode. It seems like uh, they're not using the Chandler storyline for him to be in the show any less, but just to have some complications in his relationship with Monica, which I'm totally okay with, right? I'm relieved that there's not episodes without Matthew Perry. Okay, look who's back. <laughs> well, now I need my other hand. You need both hands for that? Well, how's this? That's a pro move. Uh, is this getting serious? I, I... Yes. You not talked about it yet? No. <laughs> Am I making you uncomfortable? If you were bigger, you'd hit me, huh? <laughs> Too early for us to be having that conversation. Is it? Maybe not, is it? Yeah, I think they both really like each other. I want you to have this. No, not that's gum. Oh. I mean, oh, five bucks. I love it when that happens. Why don't you keep digging? Like, too much suspense, too much suspense. Show me what it is, because it's definitely not a ring. The key. To be honest, I think I'd prefer the $5. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I don't want you to feel like you have to give me your key. No, I, I want my... to. Oh, thank God. Cool, huh? It really is. It is amazing. These little things open doors. <laughs> Give them some space, Joey, and think about keys. I do have one question. Do you guys do random drug testing? We are now. I hadn't really thought of that. I need three days' notice. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> Who would ever ask that in an interview? Reconsider the, uh, the first one we met. Blonde with no bra? She was blonde? <laughs> <laughs> Ross did that on purpose. Sandy, she's got a degree in early childhood education. Worked for her last family for three years. I'm Sandy. I don't know who that is. And she's a little mannish. Should I know that actor? Or is the audience just cheering because it's a guy? David! I, 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 is this a bad time? Yes, an extremely bad time. Why, it's a positive thing that we spent all their money. Accomplished, um, uh, nothing. Oh. Good luck with that. Got me to New York anyway, and then I got in a cab at the airport. Where's your luggage? Damn it. Wait, did he honestly forget? Roughly translated, that means um, th this thing that I'm looking at? Wow. That's really sweet of him, but oh, this is the worst. He's finally in a serious relationship. You don't see someone for a long time, start thinking, well, come on, don't be crazy. Nobody's that beautiful. Oh my gosh, they're really doing this. Well, are you seeing anyone? No. I feel like they have the strongest connection. No offense, Paul Rudd. He said, are you seeing someone? And I said, no. Oh, well, that'd have been your window. <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. He's so irresistible. Really? The, the scientist guy? Really? Chandler? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly think I've no sensed their connection since season one between he and Phoebe. I told him that I would see him tomorrow night. Phoebe? I know, evil! <laughs> Okay, this is when you call up Ursula. She can help the situation. Isn't it ironic that David would show up on the same day that you and Mike exchange keys? It really is. Given my lifelong search for irony, you can imagine how happy I am. <laughs> Nothing can happen between us. Complicated moral situation, no right, no wrong. I don't know about that. Okay, I knew I should have had this conversation with Joey. <laughs> I like how Monica isn't offended by that. She thinks it's funny. I'm funny, right? What do you know? You're a door. Are you laughing at me? Are you laughing at me? <laughs> Save it for inside. Oklahoma's a crazy place. Frankly, I'd sooner be in any other state. That's a rough start. I'm from the uh, waistband of Wyoming. When I was seven. We headed over to the crotch. They're like, are you trying stand up? Don't get me started on the way that people from Tulsa talk. Okay. <laughs> Push together, new poodle could be your noodle. Fried chicken could be frickin'. <laughs> Funny with the frickin', eh? No, it just reminded me of something this guy did today at work. Oh, that's brutal. Told you about that funny guy, Jeffrey, right? Yeah, he came up. <laughs> at three in the morning. Locked in our freezer, eating a raw chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Were you there? No, but it sounds like it was frickin' funny. <laughs> understand how hard it's got to be to leave your child with another person. Are you gay? <laughs> hey, I'm straight. I I'm engaged, actually. Guy who's a nanny. <laughs> the most satisfying thing you can do with your life is take care of a child. Okay. <laughs> I met Daniel when he was three weeks old. Watch him grow into this awesome person. I'll see you every day, right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, it's too much. It's too much. I don't know if he's stable enough to look after a child. Time for change. Oh, no, I, I, I can take care of that if you want. Uh -oh. oh, that would be great. <laughs> Ross like, I can do it. Job is that for a man? Oh, it's like if a woman wanted to be king. <laughs> Homemade lotion on Emma. It's a mixture of calendula and honey cream. It keeps the hands young. <laughs> Music to Rachel's ears. Yes, Sandy, you're hired. That's great! Is he actually gonna be good? Oh! <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry, come here. You gotta be at least bi. <laughs> hey. I'm surprised it didn't take him longer, honestly. Later when Monica's around, ask me about fire trucks. I'm not so good with remembering lines. This is true. But this is way too forced, Chandler. Monica says that her maitre d' is the funniest guy she's ever met. Crazy to be this upset? No, you just got lame with women. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, there you are. Fire trucks! 
<laughs> too soon, too soon. You look even more beautiful than you did yesterday. He's so in love with Phoebe. Asked me if I was seeing someone, and I said, no, I am. His, his name's Mike. Oh. Yeah. I should have told so you. Hurt. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's, uh, well, are you happy with this guy? I am happy. Damn it. <laughs> That's honest. I want you to be happy. But only with me. Uh, who cares? Leave him. I don't mean that. <laughs> yeah, he does. Hug goodbye? Of course, yeah. Kiss on the cheek wouldn't be totally inappropriate. <laughs> Is it gonna lead to war? In New York? It's... <laughs> I mean, I do feel like they have a stronger connection, but I feel bad for Paul Rudd, man, right? Is everything all right? Everything's fine, trust me, Ross. Telling me about how he proposed to his fiance. From the poem. I can't, I can't hear it again. <laughs> Ross doesn't want to hear it once. But I'm fine never having heard it. Of course, of course. Me too, I think. Cried in our apartment three times. I haven't cried that many times since I moved in. <laughs> what kind of a guy makes French cookies? With chunks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think the food won Ross over. I gotta tell you, Ross, it's not like you just came in from branding cattle. <laughs> I love dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are badly. What is too sensitive? <laughs> All right, this guy is a character. I will say that. I can't, I can't do this. Uh, you did. You already did. Ergo, we, we should keep kissing. No, no, no. Ergo. <laughs> I thought this through. It's logic. Um, goodbye. Oh, oh keyword. dang. Oh, dang. Thanks for the face massage. Thank you. That's rough. Male nanny. He plays the recorder and bakes Madeleines. That's a great delivery, Madeleines. Guys do that? It's like a woman wanting to be a... A what? A what? What's the end of that sentence? <laughs> a penis model. <laughs> <laughs> Joey came through. Some guy from work is the funniest guy you ever met? Yeah, so? Wow. They both understand. Being funny is Chandler's thing. Like, Ross's thing is... Being hilarious, but I mean, in world, I don't know. Science? <laughs> Academia? Intelligence? Good father? Charm? No. <laughs> what do you mean? He's definitely a good father. Damage control here, okay? Because he's feeling like. Hey, hey! Fire trucks. You got a Manny? <laughs> oh, great. Oh, great. Fake laughter. I do draw the line at male wet nurse. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be great. I would have brought more pizza. Oh! <laughs> Chandler's gonna realize now. You're funny. <laughs> you got that funny thing. You're a funny guy. <laughs> he can tell. Did you tell her what we talked about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That makes it worse. Is he funnier than me? Well, you're you're different funny. You're alternative. There once was a man named Chandler whose wife made him die inside. <laughs> okay, that actually was funny. The one about Jerry Lewis and the girl with the lazy eye slayed me. <laughs> I made up that joke and told it to you. Not knowing when to shut up. <laughs> yep, but... That is true, Ross doesn't know when to shut his mouth. How many guys have your key? It's not as bad as it looks. I mean... I was, just, I was saying goodbye to an old friend. Uh, uh, we just uh, happen to wear the, the same shade. Come on, you're really gonna say that? Did you, uh... No, no. Kiss him? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Phoebe was like, well, not. Don't point your finger at me. I'm gonna do about it. Oh, yeah. really? You want some of that? Oh, oh really? <laughs> finger fight over a lady. You just better watch out. If I ever go to Minsk, you better watch out. Oh, you're going to Minsk? No. Well, if you do, come in the spring. It's just lovely there. <laughs> He's like, someone please visit me. I need a friend out there. Goodbye, Phoebe. Bye. Hey, what, are you kidding me? Right-o, right-o. <laughs> Take good care of her. I don't think he's staying with her after this. It's never gonna happen again, right? Right, never. I just want to say, if you, uh, if you do ever come to Minsk, that's my number. <laughs> he really does need a friend out there. We'll party up Vladnik style. <laughs> Okay, I thought that's how they were going to get rid of Paul Rudd. I thought he was going to break up with Phoebe there, but it doesn't look like it. 
Joey, Joey. Yeah. Hey, hey, Rock. I mean, he's good at making food, so of course he won Joey over. Sounded like three blind mice. Three blind mice goes like this. I swear to God. <laughs> Studies have shown that the movement and colors help their cerebral development. Is that true? Cool characters are just for us. Just like Pixar. Mr. Wigglemunch. Who's going to be the grumpest? <laughs> <laughs> Ross is like, I need to go to a new apartment. I'm the only one who isn't in love with Gary Poppins. I would never force you to, to hire someone you were this uncomfortable with. I do believe that. Well, you're the one who wants to fire him, so you're going to have to go do it. <laughs> How is this gonna go? That's why it's important to share. I am learning so much from you. <laughs> Tell him to email me at www.hahanotsomuch.com. <laughs> Last night at work, Jeffrey told this really sexist joke. Not so funny anymore. Is that true? You gotta keep it smart, people. You no, know, I love you. I love you too. I think Monica made up that story. I like you as friends. <laughs> All right. He had me laughing so hard, a little pee came out. <laughs> Joey's like, did I need to know that part? I can't watch. It's like firing Elmo. <laughs> Is he actually going to go through a fire hit or will he win Ross over somehow? I'm afraid it's, it's not working out. He's definitely going to cry. We just feel... You! You feel! <laughs> just picked you guys because I liked you the best. Is that true? Damn you! <laughs> well, I'm glad there's there's no hard feelings. No, none at all. It's going too easily. What was your problem? Just not um, that comfortable with a guy as sensitive as you. That's fair. Dang. Why do you think that is? Maybe because of my father. Mm. Is Ross going to break down? When I was growing up, he was kind of a tough guy. You know, I, and as a kid, I... Just turned into a therapy session. I am now. <laughs> play squash! <laughs> Don't worry, Ross. I've seen you play rugby. I remember I, I was in my bedroom playing with my dinosaurs. Last weekend? Playing and learning. Of course. Aren't you outside playing like a real boy? But you are a real boy. He was Pinocchio. When it's summer and it's hot, why can't you wear a tank top? <laughs> Crying is good. Here comes the boar. <laughs> well, Ross is a child. He has a pediatrician. Now he has a child's therapist. Friendship. Wow, you <laughs> blow my mind. <laughs> How much do I earn? 20 bucks. Oh, it's like the cheapest college ever. <laughs> All right, so that's Friends, Season 9, Episodes 5 and 6. So Episode 5, we have Chandler still in Oklahoma dealing with a similar situation to Rachel, though I guess it is different in a lot of the specifics, but he basically being peer pressured to smoke. So of course, very quickly, uh, he goes from kind of criticizing someone for smoking in the office to going into a full on relapse. And that kind of sets up the conflict between he and Monica this episode where Chandler um, obviously smells like he's been smoking, but Monica has been waiting to have some intimate time together in their attempt to continue to have a child. And so, of course, they're fighting over that. But I like how all of episode five was kind of revolving around Phoebe's birthday and Phoebe's birthday dinner. I did think they were going to integrate like some Halloween elements into the birthday just because they said it was on Halloween. But I guess they decided not to do that. I am curious like why they had her birthday be on Halloween if there's any other reason that I just didn't pick up on or if it was just kind of a random quirky thing to happen on Phoebe's birthday. But so we have Monica and Chandler very busy, very distracted thanks to them, you know, trying to have a baby. And then we have Rachel, you know, not wanting to leave her child. And I can understand that. Like the first time you do that and people who obviously have actually had a kid and have done that, you can let me know what that feels like. But I feel like as a new mother for the first time leaving your baby in the apartment with a babysitter, even though it is Ross's mom, I, I understand the the instinct for him. I mean, mothers worry. They, they, can't, they can't help it. I feel like that is kind of a consistent, that's what you sign up for when you sign up for the job of being a mom. You're just going to worry about your kids for the rest of your life. That's part of the way that they show their love. But Ross, in his attempt to help Rachel, you know, get out of the apartment, go relax a little bit, have some time on her own, which I do think is also very important. And plus you do want to like 
show up for Phoebe's birthday dinner, lock them out of the apartment. And then, of course, because of that, they're very, very late to the dinner. And I like I do like Roz's explanation of like the extreme scenario, of like an eagle flying in through the apartment. <laughs> but look, that's the way it is sometimes when you're anxious about something. A lot of times I don't think it has to do with statistics or realism. It just has to do with the feeling of being anxious. And I imagine that's very similar with anxieties you have about a newborn child as a mom. And it was funny, of course, seeing, you know, Phoebe and Joey just trying to hold down the fort, stay at the fancy restaurant by themselves with a huge table while they're getting all this pressure to move to a smaller table. And Joey's getting hungrier and hungrier by the second. I gotta say, though, I do feel bad. <laughs> like that was kind of a rough birthday for Phoebe, right? You know, everyone had other things going on, but it's, it's got to be rough if you have a birthday dinner at a fancy place, you invite all your close friends, and then everyone's like over an hour late. But I did like the, I like how Joey came so close to getting the food ordered in, and then the arrival of Chandler and Monica and Joey and Rachel was just timed perfectly to make him wait the longest possible amount of time. They have to take a whole new fresh set of orders. And thankfully for Phoebe, she actually had a date with Paul Rudd, and so I feel like that kind of redeemed it. You know, I definitely don't blame Phoebe for leaving that birthday dinner. Like, I understand her feeling completely. Everyone's over an hour late. You're sitting there waiting when it's your special day. It's like, go spend time with your boyfriend. Hopefully that at least cheered Phoebe up that night. And then Joey, he honestly had the best result. I mean, he had to suffer for it. He had to wait a long time, but all good things to those who wait. Joey got to uh, eat all the fancy food. <laughs> destroy every single entree, which might be the first time Joey has done that at a fancy restaurant, because I don't think that's something he would do on his own. I think he would, you know, order four pizzas, but I don't think he would go to, like, some fancy restaurant and order six plate. Maybe not. I guess everything ended up well, except for what the bill might have been at the end of that night. I have six entrees at a fancy restaurant, that could be quite a bit. And then in episode six, we had multiple different things going on. I mean, with Chandler and Monica, we have Chandler being insecure about not being the funniest guy that Monica knows in in her life. And I mean, I guess I can understand Chandler's insecurity to a degree. I feel like a large part of it is probably coming from the fact that he's spending a lot of time away from Monica. And so that just makes him feel more insecure about their relationship in general. Maybe he's just more lonely. You know, I, I feel like that's really the root of it. If I was going to psychoanalyze Chandler right here in this random YouTube video, but you could see like, if you were really proud of a certain trait of yours, or you were really known for something in your friend group, and then one of your other friends is like, oh, this person does this thing so well, the best I've ever seen. You know, you might be like, hey, I'm right here. I've been here all along. Am I invisible? And of course, Chandler handles it in the most mature way possible by trying to do forced, you know, stand up comedy bits in front of all his friends who are just like, what happened? Please, can we have the normal funny Chandler return? And at the end of that storyline, there was kind of a resolution. I mean, kind of things worked out, but at the same time, Monica was still having to lie to Chandler about how funny she thought her co-worker actually was. So was that the proper resolution? And then we have Ross and Rachel looking for the perfect babysitter. And people who have looked for a good babysitter, let me know if it's actually pretty difficult to find someone who's really good. I feel like a lot of people usually end up hiring people that they know. But if you're just looking like through a service or online, is it pretty easy to find really good nannies or is it more difficult? But anyways, we have Ross, you know, we have a male nanny, which I can't imagine is super common, although... Obviously, I don't really know, but I just love the complete distrust and anger that Ross has towards this guy from the very beginning. And in Ross's defense, I will say that the guy seemed pretty over the top with some of his antics. I mean, if that person showed up at your door in real life, I could honestly see, not because he's a guy, but just because it's just a little bit too much, right? But maybe I'm wrong. You let me know in the comments if that was a real life situation, how you would feel and why. But it was very funny, you know, seeing Rachel just like be so enamored with how great this guy was and all his skills and to give credit to the dude he did seem like he was genuinely passionate about this job and took it really seriously and was just throwing himself into it 110 percent to the point that he's crying just even thinking about previous families who he's been a nanny for but i really like where they took that storyline in the end with ross attempting to fire this guy and we have rachel you know <laughs> reacting off camera in the background just you know laughing at whatever ross is saying talking about his story and then we had kind of a goodwill hunting therapy moment with uh, Ross breaking down. And that was kind of interesting. I feel like it was funny 
but I feel like there's probably some truth in not only that story about Ross and where some of his maybe insecurity about his sensitive side comes from, but also I just think that's true a little bit in real life. Like a lot of times things, you know, so many things can be traced back to the way you're raised and to your childhood and your own fears and insecurities about things that your parents or other authority figures said to you. So I do kind of appreciate that little thing and on top of the fact that it was just funny seeing Ross in an attempt to fire someone have a complete breakdown and have like a therapy breakthrough. But one of the most interesting storylines to me was with Phoebe and with David. And, uh, you know, I've said this many times before to anyone who's seen the reactions to the previous episodes, but I really do think that David and Phoebe have strong chemistry and I could see them ending up together, uh, honestly. I mean, I know David is not a big character in the show, but every time he shows up, just I don't think any guy has made Phoebe act the way she does around him. And that includes Paul Rudd. But I do feel really bad. Poor Paul Rudd. I mean, can you imagine? You're, you're dating someone. You're just hitting it off. Things are going great. And then the day you exchange keys or the day after to your apartment, you show up and she's in the middle of kissing some guy who, oh, don't worry about him. We've known each other for years and he's he's in another country far, far away. So that's uh, that's not the only reason we're not dating right now. I mean, come on. And I honestly thought I was like, OK, you know, Paul Rudd probably has other projects to work on, but we don't you know, he's such a nice guy. We don't want him to just leave Phoebe for some dumb reason. This would actually be a legitimate reason to break up with Phoebe. I mean, I, under the circumstances, I feel like it would be very under more than understandable i think if a friend came to me and said this is what happened i'd be like i think there's someone else out there for you just the way that the acting plays off on screen i'm not gonna lie i honestly think that if phoebe was more honest and looked inward she would admit that the way she feels about david is also different than the way she feels about mike but I could be wrong, and that's just my opinion about those two characters. I'd love to hear your thoughts about that storyline um, in the comments down below. But no, that's not what they ended up doing. It's, it looks like Paul Rudd is like, okay, as long as it's just the one time, which doesn't everyone say that if they're caught? But yes, he seems to be somewhat forgiving, and I do think it was pretty funny how as they're like trying to have this serious conversation, David is just like popping in being like, hey, come visit me. Come visit me. This is where I'm staying. And like I said, I feel like he does miss Phoebe a ton, and he probably is in love with Phoebe, David, but... He also is probably really lonely. <laughs> He's probably really lonely. He needs someone to come visit him. Someone. If it's not Phoebe, please, just anybody. I need a drinking buddy. Something to stay sane. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reactions. As always, the full unedited reaction is up on Patreon along with future reactions to friends if you don't want to wait and you care to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.